Hey, it's Scotch Test Dummies. I'm Scott. I'm Bart. We got us a rum. A Woo, rum. We're doing a rum. Tomorrow will be surprised. Woo. What is it? It's called Rolling Fork Single Cask Rum Cast Strength, aged nine years. Barbados. Woo! We're gonna test it. Barbados style. What? That's too much. <laughs> The R and R and J discount liquor. Uh, this is actually a single cask from them now. So these are around. You can find these. This is actually four square rum, I believe he said. Yes. Um, aged in Barbados in bourbon casks for eight years. Aged in a roast, roast roasted rye whiskey cask for fourteen months. So I didn't think I was going to like it, but he said try it. Yeah. And he knows his whiskey, and I did, and I liked it. Yep. Oh, it is by Four Square Distillery. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, nine years, cask strength, 57.75%, toasted rye whiskey cask. I Rum. tasted it already before I nosed it. Yeah. I was going to say you just went right in there. Sorry. Yeah, rum. That's yeah, a rum. No, I know. But I mean, it's like, <laughs> it's not sh syrupy sweet, though. I don't get tons. Cane sugar. Yeah. You think? Well, yeah. yeah. It's a little more muted not, than I thought. I think it was we're be. not we're not rum experts. No. We've done we've a few, we've done a few over rums. the years. People are asking, when are you gonna do tequila? When are you gonna do rums? Like, well, we've done a couple, but yeah. it's not every now and then. I mean, but I don't mind rum. Even when we sampled this one at R and J felt more like a whiskey. Douglas and Hillside, by the yes. way. It was, it was a very nice palette. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. I was surprised by it. Mm -hmm. Uh Rums generally too sweet. We did it. We we'd had a few. I've got a couple of four square rums. They're better. Uh, cast strength stuff usually not near as sweet, but um, it's still not something that I find myself going to. Tom R will be surprised that we're doing a rum. Hmm. The tasting notes here. I mean, it's got a sweet finish, mm. but it's so high proof that it. It, if I was completely blind to this, I don't think I'd be able to Ooh. tell you what it is. Ooh, I know. So That's what nice. do you no, get? What are your notes? I mean, it's. It, it, I mean, there's cane sugar, apples, cinnamon, slight caramels. So I get more caramel. Yeah. I mean, the sweet melted. I can see caramel apple. Caramel apple. Yep. And then the finish is. Sweet. What would the rye, what's the rye whiskey cask bring in? Yeah. I mean, I don't know unless it's, a, is there a slight pepper note? What do they say on there? Uh, nothing. Yeah. I mean, it's it's very tasty, though. I added a little water. I want to see what it does. I like the label, too. Mm -hmm. There's birds and flowers on it. <laughs> Rolling fork single cask rum. Cask strength. So what I would say is there's nothing complex, but it's very savory. It's high proof. It's got a nice little sweetness to it. And it's an apple caramel. But I really like it. Mm -hmm. And I'm curious. Right. I'm going to have to go back to the four squares that I've got because I am actually liking sitting here sipping this and I can see you know some nights I just don't feel like a whiskey and I can see that see this still feels like a whiskey it does but it, it doesn't at the same time I'm with you okay. it's like it's like it it's softer but it isn't it's a little more soft a little more rounded I get a slight wood oakiness on the finish it's like give it give me one more yeah a little slight oaky. but different right I'm looking a little bit of coconut. Really? I don't get that at all. I'm looking for those I notes. I like coconut on my Going burgers. through that flavor wheel. Okay. That whiskey flavor wheel. Yeah. God. I'm stuck on caramel apple. Yeah. It's good. I mean, that's a, big, that's a big note in it. I like it. I do have the price. We can score it first. Um, 
after I tasted it, I, I immediately was like, well, I want to buy this. I want yeah. to try it. I want to have it on the show because it's very, very tasty. Well, the wife likes rum too, doesn't she? Yeah, but more like mixing rum. Oh. Yeah. I mean, that's something she'd like to... Mm. <laughs> she's had a couple of rums that are like whiskeys and she's like that tastes like whiskey so she wants like i'm gonna like paradise rum or whatever the coconut rum is, is and then she'll like to mix that is what she'll like 57.75 percent very specific by the way <laughs> i did a two or three drops there just to see and bring this down a little bit yeah i added a hefty drop the pleasantness is you do get a little bit of that sugar cane sweetness and a very whiskey wrapping with a very smooth, sweet finish on it and a caramel apple push all the way through. As soon as you say an apple, it reminded me of Calvados. Mm. So we had some, there was kind of a spell there a couple of years mm -hmm. ago, different whiskeys where they were using Calvados, right. which is an apple liqueur, I want to say, right. apple wine or... It's good. I like it. Apple whiskey, some sort of barrel. I want a little more. But let's see what happens as I added several drops right, of water. You did, and I want to try it neat again. Mm -hmm. uh, they put out a really nice mm -hmm. one here. Mm -hmm. Huh? Oh, that's that's still good with some water on it. <laughs> it's still a little bit higher though. Um, I don't. I'm maybe right around fifty percent ABV with the water that I added, but. I'm scoring this 87. I really like it. It's it's in the whiskey realm for me, though. Yeah. I mean, this is really up there. I You know, here's the weird thing. I love history, and I'm always wondering, what was rum like back in the old days? And I would, I, I when I taste this, I feel like this has to be what the really, really what, good rum was. What's Mark Rainier's? Rum? I know. I know. I can't remember. I was thinking the Are same thing. Are they putting out thing. anything yet? I haven't seen anything yet, and he told that was us the 2019. name. I can't remember the name of it. So it's for four years. Mark, done. you need to send us some of your rum. We'll reach out. Um, I don't know what to score. I mean, it's good. I like it. I'm not sure. I want a little bit more rum experience. I'll stick with you on the 87, I guess. And it's sixty-four dollars. A little pricey, but at that, Is it? I think so. Yes. I don't know. I'll, when I was in my 20s, you know what kind of rum I liked? Captain Morgan. <laughs> With a little bit of Coke. <laughs> Captain and Coke, baby. Yes. You, you, right, you. Right, you got to look over somewhere yonder. Um, so, I'm, I mean, I'm no rum aficionado, but again, this feels like something, you know, a ship captain would have had like the we really to, good stuff. We would make this punch, and it was a fifth of regular rum, and a fifth of coconut rum, and a quart of pineapple juice, and a quart of, or other one, the big can of, I want to say, grapefruit juice, maybe. Wow. We called it drop your panty punch because the girls drank it. I don't know if you needed to explain the last part there. <laughs> I thought it was Preble you were talking about. <laughs> Preble would be like, woo, you. Cousin Shane. Happy naked fun time. Cousin Shane. Cousin Shane, baby. <laughs> that was a long time ago. Yeah. They were young and college bound. I'm pretty sure it was pink, pink grapefruit, pineapple and pink grapefruit juice. Wow. I bet you it tasted and, great. And two fifths a fifth of rum and a fifth of coconut. That ought to be good. Yeah. Hence the name. Do you have red solo cups? Uh, <laughs> good RJ discount liquor if you're near Very Wichita, good, yeah. Douglas, and Hillside. Oh, Vegas. Hey. If not, I mean, just try a Rolling Fork Rum. A real good job from uh, Four Square Distillery. Mm -hmm. I like it. Um, I will be really going good. back to some of my I four like squares. trying different things, yes. Yeah, and All see right. him. Scotch it. You scotch got it. Cilantro. Dummies. Dummies.
then you like turn and you're like straddling me. You're like, <laughs> <laughs> I think you even like lift me. <laughs> <laughs>